New police body camera footage reveals Gabby Petito told a Utah police officer that her fiance, Brian Laundrie, hit her during an argument. In previously released body cam video, Petito only said that she had hit Laundrie and took the blame for the fight. This new recording corroborates the witnesses who called 911 and what they told police. Seen as Nadia Romaro live in Northport, Florida, uh, with this really important development, Nadia. Yeah, John, this gives us more insight, not only into the relationship between Gabby Petito and Brian Laundrie, but what happened on August 12th, just uh, two weeks before we know that this story really developed, that before the last time she was seen on August 24th at a hotel in Salt Lake City, and then things went downhill from there, and there are a lot of unanswered questions because police can't find Brian Laundrie, who may have those answers. So now we're seeing more of a complete picture of that August 12th domestic dispute where Gabby Petito Petito seems to take responsibility for the altercation uh, between Petito and Laundry. Listen to the exchange between Gabby Petito and one of the officers on scene. Yeah, is there something on your cheek here? Looks like did, did you get did you get hit in the face? Um, kind of looks like something like hit you in the face. Um, and then over on your arm, um, your shoulder, right here. There's, that's new, huh? It's kind of a new mark. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Can I see the other side of your face? So, what happened here and here? Um, I, I'm not sure. It was a... First name, Brian. I was just trying to get in the back of the car and his backpack was on the back. And got me. So, the backpack got you? So, there's two people that came to us and told us that they saw him hit you. There's two people saying that they saw him punch you. We're just independent witnesses by Moonflower. Well, to be honest, I definitely hit him first. Where'd you hit him? I slapped him. On you, face. you slapped him first, and then what, just on his face. You get to kind of just shut up. How many times did you slap Bravo, him? Romeo, India, Alpha, Alpha. Just a couple. And then what? And his reaction was to do what? Grab him, so I wouldn't slap him. He just grabbed you. Yeah. Did he? Did he hit you though? I mean, I mean, it's okay if you're saying you hit him, and then I, I understand if he hit you, but we want to know the truth if he actually hit you. I guess, you know, I guess, yeah, but I hit him first. Where did he hit you? Don't, don't worry, just well, be he honest. He, like, grabbed my face, like, I guess. Uh -huh. um, he didn't, like, hit me in the face. Like, he didn't, like, punch me in the face or anything. Did he slap but, your face or what? Well, like, he, like, grabbed me, like, with his nail. And I guess that's why it looks, I definitely have a cut right here. It's like a peel of yeah. my touch and it burns. <laughs> So there you heard the police officer asking Gabby more and more questions, trying to figure out exactly what happened that led up to a witness calling police. And, and we hear more about what happened in that complete picture from the body cam video. Now, Utah is one of about 20 states where if they arrive to a domestic dispute, someone is supposed to be arrested if they have probable cause. That didn't happen in this case. Instead, the two were separated and police drove Brian Laundry to a hotel for the night so the two could cool off, basically. And now that has come under investigation. There is an independent investigation into how those Moab, Utah police officers handled that situation. So we're learning more about August 12th. Now we're here in Florida. This is where Brian Laundry lived with his parents in the home behind me. And just yesterday, the FBI came to this house to gather more items belonging to Brian uh, that the family attorney says will be used for canine units to try to uh, find Brian. Remember, there's this ongoing search for him, a search warrant, not for the death of Gabby Petito, to be clear, but for actions that happened uh, when the two separated, when uh, Brian was allegedly using devices and using a debit card that did not belong to him. That's what the search warrant is for. But again, they haven't been able to find Brian Laundry. He's been missing. The parents say they haven't seen or heard from him in about two weeks. And so that search is still ongoing. John? Nadia Romero, thank you so much for that report. Raises so many questions. Joining me now, CNN law enforcement analyst, Anthony Barksdale, he's the former Baltimore City Deputy Police Commissioner. Thank you so much for being with us. That new body camera video, it's heartbreaking. We hear Gabby Petito just saying, yeah, you know, he hit me, but I hit him first. It's all this self-blame that we see so often in domestic abuse cases. Absolutely. Um, it, is, uh, it is heartbreaking video. Um, what I'm seeing now, the cops totally blew that call. Um, there was enough probable cause there, in my opinion, 
to make an arrest of Mr. Laundry. You had witness statements. You had the physical evidence. You had their statements. There was enough to make an arrest. We also see Laundry do what many aggressors in domestic violence do, and that's to play calm and cool, non-combative, yeah, you know how it is. I'm just trying to deal with this crazy uh, woman. And they fell for it. And they started to sing along to his tune. And it's really disturbing what we saw. And to think that many others who have gone through this are getting this type of response is totally unacceptable in policing today. Other developments. We know the FBI back in the House of Brian Laundrie over the last 24 hours. What could that be about? Well, it could be a collection of more evidence. Maybe there was something that they think they should have retrieved the first time in that they didn't. They may want to get some type of per uh, personal uh, uh, clothing, et cetera, to freshen up the scent for the dogs. But I will say this. You can't keep going back over and over again to the same scene because each time you leave out of that dwelling, something could change. Clothes could have been washed. Things could have been discarded. So we really need to know what we're going in for, get it, and leave. And finally, another interesting piece of evidence, maybe confusing piece of evidence, which is the fact that all these calls came in around the time of Gabby Petito's disappearance relating to the Brian Laundry residence in Florida. What does this all mean? I really would need to know what was the text of the calls, what happened, what officers responded, what supervisors responded. You have all of these calls coming in, and it seems as if though the police did not take the time to really figure out what's going on. Why do I say that? Because the calls kept coming in. So we really need to pull that. We need to get into it and figure out what was going on with these calls. Is there any type of statements in these calls that could help the police, could help the FBI? At this time, uh, I don't know. We don't know. So it is important, and it should not be uh, dismissed as such. What does your gut tell you this morning? Are they any closer to finding Brian Laundry? Oh, I I think the way that the feds work, they're very methodical. Um, so I, I still have faith in them. I have faith in all law enforcement that is involved in this search. But, you know, each day, you know, the doubt grows a little bit, to be honest. 